how to make your Shopify store convert higher. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brendan here, back at you with another video. So today we're gonna to be going over how to make your Shopify store convert higher with this product page hack, okay? I know a lot of you guys are struggling with your product pages, how to make them look good, how to increase your conversion rates on your Shopify store. That's what we're gonna be going over today. Guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss anything. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. All right, you guys, so we are now in the computer. So the store that we're going to be using as as an example today is called viral products so viral products sells a, a variety of different trending type products that are hot on Facebook and all over the internet so that's what we're going to be using as our example so the way that you make your product pages actually look really really solid is by creating a good sales funnel on the product page okay 99% of people that come to your website or maybe 95% a lot of them just go to your product page so if your product page is not convincing the buyer to actually buy from your website you're going to be at a huge detriment to actually converting people on your Shopify store. So this is the key thing to really pay attention to on your Shopify store design. Really everything else can kind of be just subpar. Like everything else needs to be there obviously like some sort of branding here, uh, some sort of like home shop owl track order at the bottom. We have our uh, you know, search about us, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't have to be necessarily perfect, but the product page really needs to be good, okay? So what makes their product pages so good? This is what a lot of successful, pretty much all successful uh, Shopify dropshipping stores are doing is that they are making sure to convert the customers and give them the benefits of the product, okay? Other than just leaving the default AliExpress descriptions, which I'm telling you guys again and again, you can't do that in 2018 or beyond or whenever you're watching this video, you can't do just the default product descriptions okay you go to fashion you look at this cool hat right you go here you're like oh look at this hat it's gonna sell amazing okay and then you're just gonna leave this crap you cannot just leave the item uh, specifics there as your description for your product. It's not going to convert anybody, okay? You also need to be editing the colors of your website too. So, I mean, even look on AliExpress. They have a sales pitch here with different images and going over the product. Some are a little bit better than this than just images. But even on AliExpress alone, they do a better job at selling the product than so many people's stores that I see. That Because I, I get sent tons of different stores. And I understand you guys are learning. But so many people still don't understand that you need to create a compelling sales page, okay? So the way that you do that, obviously, is the color. So now with the color scheme for the sale price, you could be going with red, you could be going with green as they are here, you could be going with pink, it just whatever matches your branding that you're trying to go with on your store, okay? It just needs to match your color scheme. If you're going more for the trendy type stuff, yeah, you probably wanna make sure that you emphasize the sale, okay? Obviously, it's like, wow, it used to cost $32.99, no way, now it's only $19.99, get it now on sale, oh my my God, I gotta buy it now, okay? If that's the type of store that you're trying to run, then sure, this is what the kind of design that you generally wanna run with, right? You you know, they added a, a, a custom thing here where it says, you know, 87 people are looking uh, at this product right now. That's something that can also help to convert because it creates urgency, okay? I recommend doing that over countdown timers. Countdown timers now, a lot of them are just distasteful, they're spammy, they're popping up all over the website, like it's too much, okay? This website, as you can see, converts amazingly and they don't have any anything uh, on that, okay? They have none of those really spammy pop-ups. You know why? Because it, it gets people's uh, loading times a lot slower. It also deters people from actually being on your website because they think it's like a some vi virus or something like that. You know, it's just, it pops up all over the place and it's pretty bad. So I would definitely recommend keeping things clean, but also still having the sense of urgency um, in any regard, if this is the type of store that you're going with, obviously, if you're going more for a brand, you want to change the way that you're selling the, the products, okay? You want to emphasize more on the sleek and sexiness. It, the, everything has a cadence to the type of store that you're making. Obviously, Tiffany & Co., okay, is not going to be trying to do, oh, wow, get this sale real quick. No, they're going to try and sell you with a teeny little price that said $500 or few thousand dollars for Tiffany little special jewelry, okay? If you guys aren't familiar with Tiffany & Co., it's a really expensive jewelry brand. It's kind of like... Uh, Gucci of jewelry. All right. If you think, if you know what Gucci is or any, think of any high fashion brand. Okay. They're going to be selling their products a lot differently from a trending uh, store product page. So just consider the type of store that you're creating to the type of design and layout that your store has. That completely changes everything. This is not like the way I'm saying all this stuff right now and the what I'm showing you is not the be all end all. You really have to customize and cater 
your store design and your product pages to the type of brand and type of store that you're representing, okay? Even at the at the core of this, all right, viral products, this is still a brand, all right? Their branding is focused around giving you the cheap, really good discount, hot products, okay? That's what their brand is focused around, okay? It's a business, still at the end of the day, it's a dropshipping business where they focus on different trending products. I know a lot, so a lot of you guys wanna get into because it's good cash flow and all that kind of stuff, okay, cool. Yeah, it's an awesome business, right? So click to buy now, they have the colors there. Next thing is video, okay? Video is really, really powerful on any store, really. Any store where you're trying to emphasize what a product can do for you, okay, if it's obviously just a t-shirt, yeah, you're not gonna really have a video explaining, wow, put on this t-shirt. This t-shirt, you know, it's so hard to put, you just put it on. Like, you don't need a video describing a t-shirt if you're doing print on demand stuff, okay? Um, obviously no, but if you're doing a store where it's like a product like this, especially in the fitness niche with this uh, body shaper vest, um, yeah, you're gonna want a video to explain like what the product does, the results it could give you, all that kind of stuff. Videos are really essential for certain types of products, right? Products where you need to explain something. Explaining something with a picture, especially like a flashlight, well, if I see a picture of a flashlight, how do I know how bright it actually is, right? You need to have a video there explaining how bright the flashlight is, showing people like, wow, turn it on, it's so bright, no way. Or if it's a camping store, you know, like how to actually set up this tent, how big it is, all these kind of things people think about when they're gonna buy a product, okay? Especially in in this type of niche, all right, with the with the uh, fitness thing, I mean, it, there's a bunch of different niches where you would want a type of uh, video explaining the product, but especially with this one here, you need someone explaining what it does, okay? So that's simple there. Now, like I said, t-shirts, you just do pictures, okay? But it, it really just depends on the product. But if you're doing this, you wanna have a video explaining it. If your product needs some sort of explanation to how it's being used, have a video, all right? I hope you understand that there. Moving along as well, they also have this Amazon type thing, which I think is kind of cool. Some stores opt for just free shipping on their entire store, which is something, that's what I've done in the past. That's what has always worked for me is just straight up free shipping on the entire store because you get a lot less abandoned carts that way because when you don't do free shipping, people get to the uh, checkout page and they're like, Oh no, I have to pay shipping. Oh no, I wanted free shipping, you know? So, but you could go with this uh, other method here, which is like, oh, spend a certain amount and then you're gonna activate free shipping. So it, it enables people to want to spend more money in the store and buy the upsells or downsells, cross sells, all those kind of things, okay? Which we're gonna be going into uh, as we move through this store because there there is actually a really cool um, thing that they have set up, which I'm not exactly sure what app it is. I'm sure you guys could probably figure it out um, if you searched hard enough for it but uh, that's what we're gonna be showing as well, something that they're using as a good tactic on their product pages that definitely increases their conversions, and not only their conversions, but also their overall average cart value. So moving through the rest of the description here, uh, it obviously shows you these are the three reasons why you should get the body shaper, okay? You wanna be describing the products, not only a video, because some people, maybe they're out, okay? They, they can't watch the video, all right? You also want, um, a, a description explaining the product. Oh, stay dry on the outside, special material, increased body temperature. All right, whatever kind of crap that the sales page is, all right? Some some sort of stuff that gets people wanting to buy it, okay? Also, maybe a note thing, like plus size, okay? A lot of overweight people are probably buying this product, okay? I think that um, some, of the, some of the other sizes were like sold out or something like that. Maybe of different colors. Yeah, see, rose, 6XL, sold out, blue, sold out, purple, sold out. A lot of overweight people are buying this product clearly because they want to lose weight. So, you know, think about that as well. With here, it's like, oh, the plus sizes only come in yellow because we ran out of the others or something like that, you know? Uh, explaining how to take care of it and use neutral detergent, do not iron, do not twist, do not bleach all that stuff to take care of the product, all those kind of like little notes, the specifications, the size chart, so people can understand uh, what sizing. They actually have this little button here in their coding, which is scroll to the top, which takes people right back to the uh, buy it now button, which is kind of cool. Um, I've seen that on some stores, but you know, that's just up to you if you wanna do that on coding, which I'm sure you could probably just find on the Shopify forums. I don't actually know how to code that much, so I'm not gonna be giving you guys coding recommendations here, but if you guys know coding, definitely implement some of these tactics in your store. Um, if you don't want to get the apps for it, which they have, I think this is an app. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Like I said, a lot of these things on their store, it, you just do a quick Google search and figure out what apps they're using. But these are the kind of things you want to set up on your sales pages, okay? Even neglecting the apps, all right? Video, good description, pictures, okay, that are quality, that represent the product, all that stuff. Now let's see what the next step is that they use to increase their conversions, right? You click buy now. Look at this, they have a countdown timer on the cart page. 
However, they are also offering here as it loads, we have additional offers for you, claim them, they won't last long, right? So they have little add-ons and you know what this creates? This creates someone thinking about like, oh, I've got to get the matching set. You know, I got to get the, I'm getting the vest, right? Now I got to get the pants. I got to match it up, okay? They even have the matches set up right here as long sleeve body shaper. They have the complete set, okay? So you're, you want to offer different product offerings that give people different options on your store, okay? So think about it. It's like, oh, I want to get this, um, these uh, pants, or I want to get the, the vest, right? The vest is probably their, their most selling product, I think, because uh, it's really, really trendy and hot. So they bring a lot of people, a lot of traffic in with the vest. And then they're like, yo, check out the pants now, because it's like you got to get the complete set. You got to get the top and the pants, right? You got to get the top and the pants. So if you do that, you offer them another sales piece, okay? You give them the extra offer, and then they're going to be more willing to buy it. You could also think about how Amazon does it, right? This is just a random product I clicked on, okay? Uh, you scroll down, look, frequently bought together. Some of you guys are adding this frequently bought together part in your store without actually customizing it. If you're going to be doing the frequently bought together stuff, it needs to actually make sense. So you can upsell or downsell. Okay. An upsell is when you're selling them on a more expensive product. In this case, in there, that's an upsell because it's $30 and this product's only $19.99, right? So that's an upsell. Uh, for a downsell, this product's only a cable. So uh, this product was well, $8.99, so I guess this is an upsell, but yeah, see, $8.99 versus $11.98. So regardless, you could also downsell them to a cheaper product. So say, for example, um, you wanted to buy, I don't know, like the, if you say, for example, they were buying the pants, then you could downsell them to the vest or a bra. You could uh, sell them to the bra as well, which I think if, if you were trying to buy that individually, it'd be like, I don't know, you could sell it for like 15 bucks, okay? You sell them on one piece and then also sell them on another piece. That is how you get them to buy the whole set. They're more willing to purchase, all right? You bring traffic in on one product. That I mean, that's really the method here. You bring people in on one trending product and then you sell them on other products in your store that make sense to the niche, catering specifically to that product, okay? You create individual little upsells on your product page like this with the frequently bought together, which is what Amazon does and they make a lot more money that way. Um, and I've done it before. I mean, you want to buy one thing, you don't want to, you got to get everything. Okay. Obviously it's like, it's kind of like matching the set. All right. People like things that are congruent, that make sense. So that's what you do in your store. It's going to increase your conversions a ton. All right. Instead of just focusing on, Oh, let me just drive traffic and get a ton of sales on this one trending product. It's like, wait, get creative. Think about other products that people would also be willing to buy based on the one product that's really, you know, caught bringing in a lot of traffic for you. Think about the other products in the same type of niche within, it doesn't even matter if you're in a general store, this is pretty much a general store as well. They sell a lot of other stuff in here too. If you look at the shop, shop all, they have a lot of other uh, sub niches as well. You find other creative products that can be paired with your main product, okay? And that is how you create Oh, higher order out at uh, higher average order values. All right, can't speak. Higher average order values, higher conversion rates, and getting more sales in your store. If you guys want to learn more about how to build a profitable Shopify business, I've linked my course down in the description box below, as well as a Shopify 14 day free trial to go ahead and get yourself started. Feel free to check out the videos beside me, subscribe to the channel, free Facebook mastermind group, and follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down in the description box below. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.